we will, you know, gonna get ourselves in trouble because we're not, you know, uh, pretty much not understanding what's really going on to what extent uh, spiritually first and naturally. But the topic of this message is talking about um, the reality of faith. Let me see if I'm saying it right. I've been meditating. I'm trying to get, I hope I got it right. It got, it's called faith fighting, playing. Faith will lead to fighting and playing leads to fear. Something like that. Faith leads to to fighting while playing leads to fear. Now, what am I talking about? Um, now, of course, uh, it's, it's so many scriptures. Uh, the just, I think it's in Romans, Romans 1, talks about, I think it's near the 16, 116, be not ashamed of the gospel of Jesus Christ. I think I forgot what, 17, I think. It talks about the just shall live by faith. The just shall live. Now, that, that's a key thing. The just shall live by faith. And as you know about the uh, Hebrews 11, talks about the, pretty much they call it the champions of faith. You know what I'm saying? People that by faith they did this and by faith they did that. And, you know, now, what we must understand, what is faith, okay? Of course, it's, faith is the substance of things that are hoped for and the evidence of things that are not seen. And I'm going to talk about more likely the evidence of things that are not seen, perspective of faith, that helps help you understand its teaching. Now, and watch this. Here's what the key one. Faith come by hearing and hearing the word of God. Faith come by hearing and hearing the word of God. Now, what's important about that? Well, it's called the word of God. The word of God, as what Jesus says, Matthew 4, 4, uh, it is written, man shall not live by bread alone, but by every word that is proceeded out of the mouth of God. Now watch this, uh, like I talked about on that other message of uh, uh, the, in the beginning was, uh, it was the word, you know, uh, John 1, 1, but I'm kind of, no, I, I didn't mean to talk about that, but, but, and God said, yeah, and God said, let there be light. God said the word, let there be light. So Jesus says, uh, man shall not live by bread alone, but by, by every word that is proceeded out the mouth of God. The facilitation of creation was established by the word. And now Jesus says we're supposed to live by every word. And now watch this. Back to faith. Faith come by hearing and hearing the word of God. So we now notice it said hearing. It didn't just say hear the word of God. Yeah, not see, not it's not see. If we say faith come by here and just here, just it's a just idea. It's a just mindset. Uh, we can't have a just mindset concerning the things of God. It's a continuous uh, flow. It's a continuous energy, and the reason why you gotta utilize something uh, that hearing because uh, faith is a spiritual thing. You know what I'm saying? It's a spiritual thing, and spiritual is forever and ever and ever and ever to eternity, to affinity that I was talking about this morning. The infinite, you know, things of God is infinite. So that's why Paul said faith come by hearing. You gotta, you're got continually hearing something from an infinite force, you know, to really understand your true purpose concerning an infinite force force of eternal power that you are created for according to Genesis 1 26 made in the image in the likeness of God that you are created for an infinity energy now faith this faith that uh that now watch this Paul says 
fight the good fight of faith. In 2 Timothy 4, 2 Timothy 4, so on 2 Timothy 4, fight the good fight of faith. Now watch this. I mean, well, no, no, he said, oh, sorry, y'all. I think it's uh, second, first Timothy, uh, one of, I just fight, the, it talks, he says it twice, fight the good fight of faith. And he also talks about, uh, uh, I have fought the good fight. I have kept the faith. Now I have kept, I fight the good fight and I have kept the faith. Now I want to talk about that. That is in second Timothy uh, four that I want to talk about that. You know what I'm saying? The other one I think is in 1 Timothy 6 and 12. Somewhere in 1 Timothy 6 and 12. But I want to talk about the I have fought a good fight and I have kept the faith. Now, watch this. Paul's telling that he had to fight. I mean, he, he didn't say, I, I played around with the, the word of God and kept the faith. He didn't say that. He said, I had to fight for this. Now, why why does Paul has to fight for what is given to him? Well, the reason why he has to fight for what's given to him because he recognized that what he has entered into concerning the things of God is the eternal battle. You know what I'm saying? It's an eternal battle is what he's now uh, 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 a part of, you know what I'm saying? The uh, eternal fight against Satan's kingdom of darkness. Wow, this vehicle. Wow. Uh, uh, Satan and his kingdom of darkness. You know what I'm saying? He he came when he came to the realization of who Jesus Christ is. You know what I'm saying? Uh, of of the eternal, he recognized that it wasn't playing around this is, wasn't you play games and you can just relax and do whatever you want to do whenever you want to do however you want to do he did not come into that uh uh idea you know when jesus encountered him and knocked him off his horse that he was going to go curse kill other christians when jesus knocked him off his high horse he encountered jesus christ and he encountered uh, something that came inside of him that saw an ideal that that if I want to come to be, I want to come, I want to become who I am uh, concerning what I'm all about. I have to fight for this. You know what I'm saying? It's just not supposed. It's not going to come in just that easy. You know, I have entered into a fight. I have entered into a war uh, concerning. Uh, light and darkness pretty much that he has come into this realization and he understood that so therefore he did whatever he can you know, I mean he uh, as what we know did the letters with the churches ministered and stuff like that and did, did the will of God concerning his life that I want you to get now uh, but faith is but the faith is supposed to help us see that you know what I'm saying that we must more likely as what Jesus said about John 4:24, uh, God is spirit. God, Lord Jesus, try to get some others. God is spirit, and they shall worship Him. Must worship Him in spirit and truth. Had a silly situation there. I was crossing the street, and the car, the truck didn't go by, and the truck was going to turn. It was going to turn. It wasn't going to go straight. It was going to turn. And it stood there and waited for me to cross the street and then turn. It's just, that's ridiculous. <laughs> but anyway, um, uh, well, the thing is, we entered into, uh, Paul entered into, understood that he entered into a war between the kingdom of darkness and the kingdom of light. And what faith is supposed to help us do, like I was going to talk about concerning what the sub the evidence Paul received evidence from the unseen he received evidence from the unseen concerning in the spirit that there's a fight going on there is a war uh, happening as what well, we read the letters of Paul you hear about a war war between uh, Galatians uh, 6 
war between the flesh and the spirit. There's a war going on, you know. Put on the whole armor of God. How much he always talked about going to war concerning an ideal because reason why he sees that idea because he's seeing the unseen by faith he's seeing the unseen and he's telling us that we got to go to war if we're going to be of god if we're going to be genesis 1 26 made an image and the likeness of god we're going to have to fight and go to war in it but as what it says, faith come by hearing and hearing the word of God. And if we're in the word of God is what it says in uh, Ephesians 6 is a sword, is a sword. You know what I'm saying? It's not a play toy. It's not something you're supposed to play with and, you know, joke around with and do whatever you want to do with it. But it's a sword for a spiritual. It's a spiritual sword. You know what I'm saying? I mean, it's not a natural thing because you know how, unfortunately, we have a religious church system that thinks that they can play with a word of God and, and teach things concerning the word of God that are contrary to the word of God or have truths, false teaching the word of God. They think they can play with the word of God by giving halfway information mainly I hear most a uh, halfway they're not teaching the whole Bible they just teaching some of the Bible they think they can play with this sword this spiritual sword they can naturally play with it concerning how they teach the scriptures and stuff like that but they uh but this is a spiritual sword you know what I'm saying and see what I'm getting at but the thing is playing is what you know is what satan is all about as what i talk talk about you know about the lust of the flesh and the lust of the eyes and the pride of life you know what i'm saying this lust is all about the ideal of getting people to play with anything play around with the word of god and play with the things of this world now the things of this world concerning people is the ideal of the lust of the flesh is all about the uh be about the uh, physical pleasure of others you know what I'm saying it's about engaging in the unwrong sinful physical pleasure of others and also of course the physical engaging wrong in the net of uh, the natural uh, the, the things of this world of course and it's to say that it's okay and it's okay to continually doing it and the more you continually do it the more you position yourself in darkness, now you will position yourself in darkness concerning Satan. Now Satan can attack you and now you are in a position of fear. When you're in a position of darkness, you're in a position of fear. Now you're afraid and now you're scared about the attack, something, you have been attacked about something, uh, something bad happened in a situation. You have positioned yourself to fear because you play around with something that you're supposed to to go to war with concerning the word of God. And that's what the whole tactic of what Satan is all about. So the thing is, the, this message, hope it, you, to encourage you to understand that the word of faith, we're supposed to live by faith and faith is supposed to have us fighting. And if we're not gonna be fighting, we're gonna find ourselves end up playing games. And when we play games, we position ourselves for fear and fear will attack us in the worst in worst case scenarios you, you know the situation you know the circumstances a lot of people are in right now because they played around with the word of god they played around with the sword and they didn't see that there's no fight they are not learning the word of god and not seeing uh, there's a fight there to f there's a spiritual warfare that's fighting uh, against you you played around with it and all of a sudden the the king, Satan is kingdom of darkness. Bam, got you and got this person and got that person. This has been going on for a long time, and everybody, and unfortunately, too many people are not recognized to what extent, to the measure of the bad situations that are going on in this world, is because of this spiritual warfare that p too many people are playing games with. So that's the message. I hope you understand. I hope you're well aware that you'll be walking by faith and be fighting and not playing games and position yourself with fear that Satan can easily attack you and you become a victim of
him. That's a message. God glory him for forever in Jesus' name.